Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is install my piston stop tool. And you can see my piston stop tool is nothing more than an old spark plug with a 3 8 bolt mounted in the center of it. I knocked the shell out of the spark plug and tapped it 3 8 coarse and stuck a bolt in there. The length of the bolt doesn't matter, and I'll explain that to you why in a minute. I'm going to install that. Doesn't have to be super tight, just as long as it's in there. Okay, what we're gonna do here is find top dead center. I've already installed my little tool, piston stop tool, and now what we're gonna do is rotate the crank back and forth and verify that we have our marks in the correct place. So you can see that I already moved that. And as we come up, it'll see, you'll see the piston stop again right there. And you can see I've already made my little pencil mark exactly where the, I made my little pencil mark exactly where the TDC is, right where the piston, or not TDC, but where the piston stops at. Okay, now I'll rotate the crank the other direction until I find the exact same spot with the piston coming up on the other stroke. Do this gently so you don't wang the top of the piston. So there I am touching the piston. Once again, you take a real sharp pencil and make a mark right there. Okay. Now what you do is you measure the distance between this mark and this mark and halfway between there will be your TDC, which you can see right now, this, uh, this must be one of those uh, Super Beetle pulleys that doesn't have a TDC mark on it. So I'll get a tape measure and measure the distance between those two and we'll find our true TDC. Now the length of the bolt doesn't matter because your TVC is going to be somewhere right about here. And if I had a longer bolt, it would make this mark over here farther and this mark over here farther. But your TVC would still be in the middle, which would be the, the split difference between the two marks. So a short bolt will give you, you know, maybe 20 degrees before TVC and 20 degrees after TVC. And then a long bolt might give you, you know, 40 degrees before TVC and 40 degrees after TVC. But if you split 40 and 40 and 20 and 20 or, you know, 17 and 17 or 32 and 32, it doesn't really matter. You still come up with TVC regardless of how long the bolt is. Okay, I've got my tape measure, tape measure on there nice and tight. I'm using my 10 as the starting point. It looks like I've got about 54 millimeters. Between the marks. So half of 54 is going to be 27. So I'll find my 27 spot and I'll make a mark there. That'll be my true TDC. Okay, and now you can see I've already made my mark with the 27 millimeter mark. That's going to be my true TDC right there. So I'll punch that with a chisel. Okay, you can see I have my TDC marked real nice here. I've got a, a white stripe across here. I actually hit that with a chisel, and then I hit it with a... Uh, uh, file to groove it on both sides of the pulley. Now what I did is I measured the circumference of the pulley. The circumference of the pulley is 534 millimeters and you divide that by 12 
to get 44 and a half millimeters. So there's a reason I divide it by 12 is to save me one quick step. I could divide it by 360 and then multiply it times 30, but if I divide it by 360, then multiply it times 30, I'm gonna come up with the same number. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna find my 30 degree before top dead center mark. You can see my mark there is about 44 and a half millimeters from TDC. I'm using my 10 as my zero. So I'll make another mark there and that'll be, be my 30 degrees before top dead center. So now you can see this mark right here. That's my 30 degree before top dead center mark. That'll be my timing mark. And then obviously the white mark right here is gonna be my TDC. It does have a couple of factory marks for probably seven and a half and 10 or something like that. But this particular pulley does not have a TDC mark on it.